and catch up on some needed rest. So, Hey there, people. We are getting ready for New York Fashion Week, and I started the day, as you saw, with a workout. I use the Future app. I've talked to you all about that before. This is not your first time around. Uh, it is a virtual personal, personal trainer app, uh, and I actually have a free month that I will link down below. Today was all about strength training, so I'm a little sore up in here, but you know, we are just trying to reach those health and fitness goals at a big age now fashion week is upon us friend it's here it seems like we were just there and so I have likened this moment to the Super Bowl of fashion before uh, not a Patriots fan I am a Bucks fan but I'm not a Tom Brady fan I, I feel like Tom Brady I do I'm, 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 I'm out here just trying to get the championship trying to get my ring and so <laughs> it's just a lot of work uh, and I truthfully, y'all, start this like months in advance. I start to kind of collect pieces knowing that it's a possibility that they will get worn for Fashion Week. And so despite that immense preparation, we're still here just a few days before and I don't have all my things. So as I said that, I realized actually how far away I am from my goals. So uh, I thought it would be nice to work together on this vlog and just do like a get ready with me for fashion week. I'm gonna be going to get my nails done, gonna be working out, eating clean, you know, just trying to make sure my stamina is where it needs to be because that's also most important that I'm healthy and that I'm well. <laughs> um, and I also have some orders, some things that I have um, ordered frantically actually last night, y'all, because I felt like I just still didn't have the things that I needed that are going to be coming. But today, what I do want to do with you all is to try on the items that I know are going to be the looks and to photograph those so that I have them ready to go. I want to make sure that all my captions are written, all my music is selected for my reels, um, and most importantly, everything is linked on the different websites that I will be using, like Like, like to Know It, um, The Collective or Shop Style, as well as a new platform I've been using that I love called Howl. So... A lot of behind the scenes work. Today is Labor Day, by the way. I'm leaving for New York on Friday. Today is a Monday. So um, despite my lack of sweat, my lack of sweat, I am going to go. I'm going to take a shower and I will be back here with y'all in just a moment to try on these pieces. So let's get into it, good people. All right, friends, I'm back. Let's get into it. I meant to tell you all that what I was wearing earlier to work out in the hat was by Anina Bing. The sports bra was by Dressed and Joy, which is a black owned brand by Michaela Pabone. And my pants were by uh, Lululemon. They are the aligned leggings, which are super soft. And so took a shower, got dressed. Super easy, OOTD, perfect for trying on clothes. I'm gonna go out and run some errands too. The top is by The Ballet, another black owned brand. Y'all know I love this top. I wear it all the time, literally. Um, it is sheer, it's lightweight, easy to wear. And my skirt is linen. It's a linen mini skirt that is by Reformation, okay? Um, and the collabo that I have been wearing on my lips that I love you all is this one, which I shared with you and a previous YouTube video. Shout out to Monroe. I feel like she has us all on like a Dior lip product because I've used her code before to purchase things. Make sure y'all do that. Use my good sister's code because she has us falling in love with Dior and for good reason. Um, and so this is a lip oil in the color Berry. But first I put on this lip maximizer. And this one I think is in the color Rosewood. So that's a bad B collabo. Just easy, like I said, and perfect, no makeup, but makeup look to just kind of, you know, smooth everything out. I wanna to talk to you all though about, again, the pieces that I know I'm going to be wearing and I even have some new one stuff. Everything is going to be linked. What about your friends? Will they stand their ground? 
All right, y'all, let's get into it with the first look. By the way, I am shooting on my phone, y'all, because um, my camera is at the shop getting, getting a tune-up for Fashion Week. So the first thing that I know I'm going to wear is this Bottega jacket. Y'all know this. I love this piece. I've had it for years now. And I'm going to wear that draped across the shoulders of my Saint Laurent sheer dress. I'm going to try this on for you all because I am wearing it with a nipple as free as it could possibly be, okay? And actually, when I tried it on like that, I realized, oh, this is why the models were wearing it like this on the runway. Because it just looks the way it's supposed to look. It does what needs to be done. I've worn it before with undergarments under it, and it does not do it justice. So, you know, I won't have this body forever. And I feel like I owe it to the ancestors to jump out here with just a good old panty on, a good bloomer, and just leave it all to the world. Uh, leave it all at fashion week, risk it all. So let me try this on. All right, I don't know what YouTube's policies are regarding nipples. So we're gonna just do a little Mati Data here. Uh, but also know that the jacket is pretty much cut kind of right to the areola. So if I wanted to be just a little modest, I could be. All right, but I just wanna get up close so you can see the fabric because it is so luxe, so beautiful. We're here for it, okay? Um, and because I have gold accents on the jacket, I am probably going to do a pair of mixed metal earrings. One of my very kind followers over on Instagram, if you're not following me there, you should be, okay? We are always having a good kiki and a good time. Sent me these, uh, a screenshot from Zara. I went to Zara later that week and actually found them. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna do this. All right, so let me just really give you the vibe. And then, I got, should I wear these? Uh, I don't think so, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna save the bangles for something else. But um, as far as shoes are concerned, for shoes, I'm going to do the Bottega, these are not Bottega, the Saint Laurent patent shoes which uh, you all saw me talk about my end of summer haul. I purchased these from Moreau, barely worn. I mean, if she wore these once, I would be surprised. And I think because the dress is black, obviously, and so is the jacket, I always talk to you all about mixing a texture. So this is gonna be a vibe. All right, and uh, for a bag, because I do have the gold hardware, I think I am, uh, probably going to do the OG triple OG, the Bottega clutch. I feel like she only really gets worn on these types of occasions these days. And so got to pull her out. So we had a conversation about how I was not going to get the mango and Simon Miller dress. And then I got the mango and Simon Miller dress. And so I just couldn't resist y'all. It is still on sale. I am wearing a size six. Last time I checked, there is a four, a six, and an eight in green on the Mango website. The one thing I hate that I didn't realize until like yesterday is this. And now I don't have time to send it back. Can you see that? Something happened with the stitching on this. And so I'm going to have to get it sewn because I definitely don't want it to separate anymore. But I think outside of this, <laughs> it is a very well-made piece. It feels not heavy, but like the fabric has some weight to it. Um, I love obviously the fringe on the bottom. There's something on it. <laughs> and I especially envision this with, I remember I talked about the TBs, the Tory Burch flats. Let me stand all the way back, see if you can see it. So comfortable, y'all. Uh, we are having a meet and greet on the Sunday. The meet and greet is with Brittany, Pockets and Bows, Brown Girl Chi, uh, my girl Chi, also Kassan of the Kassan Edit, and is hosted by Michaela Pabon of Dressed and Joy, and also her own namesake brand on IG at her boutique called Hashtag BK. 
sorry to be mentioning an event that is sold out it is at capacity but i want to be able to wear something that day to meet you all that feels very comfortable to stand in and yeah to just kind of be doing all the things and so speaking of chi because for the girls who don't know our dog is like one of the it people the executives in the c-suite at coach and she was one that was behind the mirror bag and so y'all know coach has really been doing the thing lately and i'm excited for this whole look because what i tried to do during fashion week as you saw the first piece was all ysl and bottega it's to also give more accessible looks like this as well it's just important for me as a matter of equity we don't all shop at the same price point i don't all sh always shop at the same price point um but also there are so many eyes on the brand right now and just to give you a peek inside of the business of content creation you want to make sure that you are linking across all price points and so with that in mind when i saw this i knew that i had to have it especially because I missed the Jock Moose drop, but I like this just as much, if not more. And it also has a crossbody strap and the wristlet piece comes off. And so paired with the shoes and uh, so keep this in mind, okay? And then what I probably would do is do the Teardrop Bottega inspired earrings. But what I also could do, we're just gonna keep it a stack, right? I could not do this, but instead go back here. Because again, I still have another look that we haven't even gotten to that's hot fire Dylon that I know I'm going to wear the silver bag with. So I'm kind of on the fence. Do I want to do silver? Do I want to do gold? What's the vibe? The good part about this bag is that I don't know if I'm going to be able to change in between the event and my shows for the evening. And this holds everything and some more. Camera, snacks, water bottle. This bag is huge. The other bag, obviously, not so much. And so, I'm going back and forth. Y'all stay tuned to see which one I chose. But, again, for the most part, first two looks are down. And then let me show you two bonus looks. And then I have... Uh, one one and a half more look that's coming together that i'll wait until my other pieces come to show you and then we have the bottega dress i wore this to dinner during swim week um but i feel like i want to give her another spin i know obviously um it is fall and so it's good to try to kind of have pieces even though it's hot outside that kind of speak to that but at the end of the day i'm gonna wear what i love and while this color may not be quintessentially fall it is a leather and i feel like she needs a little bit more shine as i mentioned okay and it fits me like a glove <laughs> like a glove i found this on ebay it's still available i will link it down below again it came from the bottega outlet and it was like 70 80 percent off um probably more like 90 i think i paid six hundred dollars for this and just really get into the leather all right now in order to make it feel a little bit more fall appropriate i thought about putting on this alice and olivia blazer which y'all i got last year at the uh, alice and olivia presentation they dressed me and so ooh, this was in my mind this was in my other mind i hadn't even tried it on yet Let me get the shoes on, old girl. Also at the Bottega Outlet, I got these. They are the stretch sandals in the same exact color of the dress, pretty much. This color Bottega calls light pear. These are still available. Another extremely comfortable pair of shoes. Come on, man. Maybe I'll wear this to the meet and greet. Maybe I'll wear this, y'all. The only thing about this look, to be completely honest, to keep it a stack, is that I feel like I don't have the perfect bag for it. I'm not pulling that Jacquemus bag back out. If I show it to you, I, it, I will be too embarrassed to do so. It is so 
like beaten up and battered. It's a white bag. Um, and I'm just tired of it. And so I think the best thing I could do here is the silver and gold. Silver and gold. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's get rid of this. Because I'm talking about making something more fall, right? What if? Don't go nowhere. Don't give me a mansion on top of the hill. Don't give me the world with the shallow thrill. Girl, just give me a savior. My life he can hold. Put these on, hold on. Because I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Somebody said, can I have Jesus and the silver? No, can I have Jesus and the gold? I can keep the silver. That I taught the tribe well. The boots, y'all, are by Paris, Texas. I know that light is doing something nasty on these. My God, today. Um... <clears throat> I got them on sale at Louisa Via Roma. They had a full size run of these, y'all. The only thing about them that I do not love, like I got them in a 42, is um, there is no zipper, which is such a missed opportunity for me because I have to have help getting them off, especially if I'm not wearing socks. Let's see what it gives. <sighs> Let's do the full look with these because, again, this is either really good or it's really bad and I don't feel like there's anything in between here like it's either okay wait a minute oh, oh wait a minute hold on hold on let me see something because what I'm not gonna do is be able to play with y'all what I'm not gonna be able to do is it giving a little superhero it is but it's fashion week and we gonna be able to do something a little different than we would typically do. Do you see what I'm saying? Bop, 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 get into the boot. The boot's a moment. Now my, wait, my grandparents are here. Let me get their opinion. I'll be back. Grandma says it's a yes. If she says it's a yes, I feel like it's a yes. trying to make it a little bit more fall and when you see this other look that I'm gonna wear the boots with I think I like the boots with both I wish you could tell me now it's possible you know how you play spades and you got like a whatever and a possible I feel like I got one, two, three looks and two possibles. I ain't mad at it. Let's um, let's keep her on the squad. Maybe not the starting lineup, but she can ride the bench. All right, good people. That is it for today's try on portion. Um, I do have two more outfits, as I mentioned, but stay tuned. I'll try those on once the additional items come in from Express and from Zara. But I just thought about something. If I get nervous that the boots are giving a little bit too much like superhero, especially because, I mean, it's a silver knee boot, which is a whole statement. So we'll see how I feel about it. But if I feel like that is too much, what I could always do, someone probably said this and I just completely like blanked is do the Zimmermans, which I got these at the Outnet. My only trepidation, y'all, is that I don't think these are available anymore, and I also just scuffed them up so bad when I was in Miami, so I feel like I would need to get certain parts of them touched up. Nevertheless, sacrifices will have to be made for the fashions, okay? So these look the best, which I did not try them on. 
these are what shall be worn. So you just got to stay tuned, my friend. Um, that is all for today. I'm going to go and enjoy my grandparents, probably slide into the city because it is a Labor Day. And I will check in with y'all in a few days. Hey y'all, it is day two of the New York Fashion Week vlog and I got my first box in from Zara. I was hoping I would have my express order in as well, but I don't. So stay tuned for that look. And I also realized that I didn't try on one other complete outfit for you all that I do have. So let's try on two fits, try to accessorize them, shake something, see where we are. I love the color already y'all. So it is this kind of cream suit and for Zara I'm not gonna hold you the fabric feels really nice um these are the shorts kind of like Bermuda shorts uh cost had something like this but it wasn't in this color and I got the idea like early spring that I wanted a suit like this and I know I love suiting and then here is the blazer now what I was really interested in is the blazer because I got that to go with another look but hopefully, hopefully, it works with this together and it works for the other look. We'll see, I'll try it on in just a bit. And then I thought I had ordered multiple accessories, but maybe I, maybe I didn't. <laughs> it looks like I just ordered these earrings. These look like they are very much inspired by a pair that YSL had like this that I really wanted, but I just could not get down with the price tag, y'all. $1,000 for um, this type of costume jewelry. Maybe not all, but this type is hard for me to do. So I ended up getting them from Zara. So I feel like it's going to give very much like a Vaccarello inspired moment, kind of angular 80s fashion. That's one of the vibes that I'm for sure going for. So let me try this on. Before I do that though, a quick OOTD of today. I am wearing this hat by Anina Bing, also Anina Bing t-shirt. Um, my pants are by Saint Laurent. They are actually kind of cropped wide leg trousers. They were full of trousers, but I had them um, tailored to be both high-waisted and to be cropped. Uh, on my feet are a pair of sandals by H&M. Y'all have seen before. Similar jewelry. Uh, it is my Dior necklace, my seven pendant from Zoe Lev. First hoop earrings are from Madewell. My watch is vintage from Gucci and Cartier. So um, I know you can't see me full body, so I probably put on the screen a uh, get ready with me that is over on YouTube shorts as well as TikTok. So your reminder to make sure you are following me all over the internet at politics and fashion. Let's try on these pieces though. The suit fits impeccably, y'all. The sleeves are even long enough. I think if it was really gonna do like a YSL moment, what I would want to do, but I don't have time, is to get the shoulder pads accentuated. I'm actually watching a video by In The Fro or Into The Fro, Victoria. Um, and she just tried on a YSL blazer and the angles on it were impeccable. So I'm comparing this to that, even though this is a whole different price point, y'all. Um, I am wearing underneath this, speaking of YSL, the YSL bedazzled bra that I got. Y'all would have seen this in my luxury haul. I grabbed this over the summer in Miami. And let me step back because I'm really impressed by the way the whole thing fits. By the way, both pieces are in a size large. Now I'm holding shoes in my hand because part of me feels like I could go sleek and do the patent leather, but also because I'm wearing shorts, what if I do this? These are brand new. Um, I have unboxed these in my private community. They are by Bottega and I got them like 60, 70% off on clearance at Saks and they tie up around the ankle. So let's get clear on shoes and then let's think about, am I gonna do silver accessories, gold accessories? Uh, lots of decisions. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, I have decided to go with silver after much contemplation and also to do the patent shoes. I feel like this is coming together. The only thing that I feel like I'm missing is eyewear if I choose to do that and also to determine how I'm gonna wear the blazer. So let me back up. Let me also put my arms in the blazer. By the way, both of these pieces are large. Don't know if I mentioned that. 
the top was about $90. I think the bottom was $75 or something like that. This is kind of my signature as well, especially now that I have the bracelets on. Yeah. This feels vibey. Oh, this looks boss. Oh, it's like the high school principal at the Performing Arts High School. And then she decided to go on vacation with her new bae. And so she just was like, let me go ahead. Give them a little something elevated. But you know, we're going to keep the look the same. So I'm looking around because I was wondering if I should do eyewear. Again, really, really wish y'all could tell me this in real time. I had the gold earrings on before and eyewear wasn't giving. Saint Laurent, I got these uh, during swim week in Miami, Tom Ford. I will link affordable versions of both. All right, so let me go get grandma's opinion. One moment. Grandma said these, Grandma Granddaddy, and Grandma also reminded me to make sure that my heels aren't rusty, meaning I need to put on a little bit of lotion on my heels. Now, there was also a recommendation to throw this on, but I feel like that's too regular. This feels about right, right? Especially if this is like a nighttime sitch which it most likely will be, this is what feels right. I don't have to put the sleeves up. I just happen to like that. I think it gives it a very like effortless look. Um, I love the fact though that the sleeves are long enough. And if you happen to be taller than me, which is very few people on earth, um, then it does have a cuff here and a cuff here to elongate both. Girl, I think I got something on the blazer already. I do. It's already got makeup on the blazer. That's fun. <laughs> All right, so this look is pretty much done. Stay tuned to see how I end up styling it, what I finally go with. I feel like it definitely needs a red matte lip. Um, if not, I probably would get lost in all of the neutrals, and so I do want to stand out. So a red matte matte lip it is for me oh i don't know if i told you all that the earrings are the amazon earrings that are inspired by the bottega ones that we all know and love uh let me show you the other complete look don't know if she's going to actually get worn but she's definitely a bonus piece um just in case i don't know i feel like changing and going out for a cocktail or something let's get into that all right, our bonus outfit is by Rattan Boa. It is this sheer dress. I shared this with you at the beginning of summer. Um, I've had it actually since my trip to Santa Fe for my birthday, but I feel like it's a great just kind of throw on easy look. I'm wearing it with those Zara earrings and let me grab a blazer. I would definitely likely wear this at night. The blazer is by Saint Laurent. Just drape that over my shoulders like that. And then for a shoe, I feel like this is where those Bottegas could come in at since I won't be wearing them with the suit. One thing to know about Rat and Boa's dresses is that even with this heel, and I am almost six feet tall, do you see how long it still is? I mean, I happen to think that that's part of the sex appeal of the dress, but it is super duper duper long. So you won't really be able to see the shoe. But I just think when you can get that little pop of that tie up, that's fantastic. And again, it's easy, it's lightweight, steam it if I have to, and it will be something pretty easy to wear. And I like this with gold accessories for sure. I've actually put this together as kind of like a leopard on leopard. I could do that because I do think that that is a vibe. But you all already know I probably will go for my favorite bag, which is one of my favorites that I shared with you all. That would be one of the five that I would replace, which is the vanity bag by Valentino. Yeah, this is good. This is good. And if I don't wear it for fashion week, trust me, I don't know, date night, vacation, Greece, my trip that's coming up, this is definitely going to be worn.
Good morning, good people. Today is the Wednesday before Fashion Week. Typically, I would leave town on Thursday, but this Fashion Week I'm gonna do Friday to Monday um, because a lot of things are happening on Sunday. So today, I am dressed. I'm getting ready to go into the city to get my hair cut, run some other errands. I may have an early lunch with a friend. Um, it's pretty early, so it's 7.53. So um, I haven't done any makeup, just have on the Danessa Myricks Blurring Cream or the Yummy Skin and a lip by NARS. I will link the lip down below. It's always easy when I want a quick pop. Um, I am wearing the infamous Aritzia crop top, wear this at least once a week, with a pair of um, cargo pants by a black owned brand called Abbey Project. Last time I checked, these were sold out, so if they still are, I will link something similar. The blazer is oversized, as you can see, it's by H&M. On my feet are my Nike SBs, or blazers, and then my Loewe Bay Puzzle. So I always love this when I'm running errands because it's a great crossbody bag and it holds so many things. I have only had coffee this morning, so I need to grab something very quickly to eat, just like a piece of fruit or something, probably a banana, and get up out of here. Um, uh, yeah, let's go do a bit of a self-care day show. We also have to go pick up my camera, which I wanted to do yesterday, but didn't have a chance to. So we're gonna do that today as well. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's cute. Brian's the little vibe. How you doing? I'm here with the best barber in America. Hit him with the <laughs> Miss America way. I'm not actually happy with my haircut today. I feel like it could have been better. <laughs> um, but you know. You let it do. It's the best you can do, so. It's fine. Obviously, I love my haircut, y'all. I'm just joking. And I'm excited for my waves to come back in too. I've gone back to brushing my hair in the shower with conditioner. So um, I am right now on U Street. The Lady Clipper, if you are interested in getting your hair cut there, is at about 15th and U in Washington, DC. Uh, Leslie is the owner and is my barber. All the barbers are phenomenal though. Leslie can be a bit hard to get in to. Um, so, I'm gonna go up to Bus Boys and Poets. Y'all have been there with me before. Just an easy place to work and to have some lunch. But beforehand, I'm actually at this spot called the Goodwood. They used to be closed on Wednesdays and now they're open. So I'm gonna go in and just see what they have for like home decor pieces. It is one of my favorite shops in the DC metro area for home goods. So let's see. Just kidding, they open at noon.
my guns come with a switch because we lit. Just like the thug with pooks. You know what I'm saying? Like we bang together. Pooka say run up, get done up. Period. Don't start nothing, it won't be none. Pooks is a cold blooded killer. Understand that. See what I'm saying? Don't let don't let the pretty face fool you. Or the John and Kate plus eight haircut. What the lady name? She had that little high right, low left. The Karen haircut with the little bang, but then it was like the spike on this side and it was long. Little Betsy DeVos. Little Republicana haircut. But what we're doing is we're growing the top out so she can have that, that bust down ponytail on y'all. You see? Do you see the vision? Is all I'm saying. Do you see it? Mimi, you ready for your ponytail for fall? I get nothing. Good people, welcome back to the last day of the New York Fashion Week prep vlog. Um, I've gotten up, I did my skincare routine. As you can see, I have a little bit of a glow. Um, and that is because I have been using the Vintner's Daughter products, specifically the serum, which I really, really like. It's the Botanical Serum, it's all natural. Um, I would not recommend wearing it if you have oily skin under makeup but because i'm really focused on hydration right now i used it this morning and i love the way that it gives my skin again that nice glow i'll make sure i link skincare products down below for sure i haven't talked to you all in a while about my morning skincare routine and so i wanted to share that little bit of an update i also have an unboxing to share with you all um but before we get there i just ran some errands i went in I went to the grocery store because when my grandparents are in town, my grandmother demands that at least uh, three times a day. Um, and then I went and picked up my camera. I am wearing what will be my workout clothes so I can get to that in a little bit. But I also have just a lot of administrative tasks to get done, y'all. Um, I've seen everyone's kind of New York Fashion Week prep videos coming down the pipeline. And I'm sure what you have heard is the, the one of the running themes, and it's easy to forget that this is that we are business owners, content creators or what I like to call solopreneurs who own online businesses. And so there is a fair amount of strategy that goes along with this. And so I have graphics to make, I have a newsletter to write, I have a blog post to kind of tee up and have the bones there and insert the pictures that I will be taking in just a couple of days. And so I wanna make sure that I am setting myself up for success so that when I'm there and I'm in the moment, I'm not stressing over getting the content up and out. So make sure you are uh, following me on my blog, Politics and Fashion. And on the very bottom, you will see a space to enter your email address for the newsletter. Those come out at least twice a month, um, but maybe a little bit frequently, especially because it is fashion month and we're also transitioning to a new season. With that said, y'all, um, I often get asked two things. Number one, the cost of Fashion Week, and also will I go to fashion uh, weeks across the country. So the cost I spoke to you all about in February's part one video. So I'll make sure that is linked. Go back and take a look at that if you're interested in attending shows or you wanna know kind of how I budget my expenses. For me this time around, I gave myself a very specific budget and that was $2,000. And I told myself that I had to also include my hotel. Now, the reason that that works is because many of the pieces that I've already shown you all, I have had or they are more affordable or high street pieces. And I have found that switching my mindset to kind of get in that stunt piece, that possible fashion week piece, when I see it, if it is within reason, probably makes a little bit more sense because it allows me to kind of spread things out versus doing this frenzied shopping and possibly not making the wisest decisions right before the thing. And that can go for any event, but especially fashion week when you are trying to like put your best stunt forward. And so there's no luxury item that I have gotten for this week um, that I did not already have really probably early summer or July, I should say. I thought I was gonna sneeze. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that I um, haven't had since this summer. <laughs> Lord, it's annoying. Okay. 
excuse me, that I have not had since this summer. Um, and the only thing, like the highest um, budget thing that I've gotten are the Paris, Texas boots, which I shared with you all. And those were about 450 or so. Um, and I tried to find them for cheaper than that, but nowhere had them in my size. And so I had to pull um, the plunge on them at that price point. Nevertheless, they will get a lot of wear this fall. They're fun, they're edgy. And for someone like me who wears mostly neutrals, to have something that I'm not just purchasing for fashion week, but I know I can get wear out of in the long haul, it's just ideal anyway. Now, keeping my hotel expenses low was very difficult. So this time around, I am not going to stay in Soho, which is where I typically like to stay. I just I mean, I'll start looking at hotels over the summer and they already were out of my price range for what I knew I wanted to spend. So I am staying in the Lower East Side. The hotel looks cute. We have one in DC, it's called the Moxie. Hopefully it will be fine. If not, we'll make other arrangements when we get there. And actually another way that I'm cutting costs is that Friday, since that's when I'm coming into town, I'm just staying with a friend who lives in Brooklyn I don't have a show to attend. I had a show, but I decided to forego it. And so for me, the things that I'm going to be doing on Friday, it's fine for me to get back across the bridge um, and stay in Brooklyn. So it won't be like a full day of back-to-back -back shows. So it works. And now the other question that I just mentioned is about will I attend other fashion weeks? And the answer to that is I don't know. Um, it is not a goal of mine. So I have to say that for me, this is all about what's the ROI, what is the return on your investment. One of the reasons, probably the biggest reason that I like going to New York Fashion Week is because I get to see the other fashion girls. And I'm not saying that they don't attend other fashion weeks, clearly they do, but this feels, especially this September's Fashion Week, I mean, I'm scheduling meetups with people who have never been before, who I adore, who have large platforms, so stay tuned for that. Um, so New York just feels more accessible to more people and more of us will attend who we are in the same kind of orbit. And that's number one, right? That's why New York stands out to me. Number two, it's less expensive. Obviously I'm driving this year. It's only a four hour trip from where I live. So that's another consideration of why New York kind of takes the forefront. Obviously grabbing international plane tickets, especially to Europe is not cheap. And then number three, when it comes down to a return on investment, I don't know what attending a fashion week internationally will bring me, like what the return on the investment is for my business because I have to like make it make sense long term. Many of you know that I am an attorney by training. I worked in public policy for years at a think tank and other nonprofits. And there is a part of my business that you don't really see online that includes organizational coaching. It is social justice driven. It is uh, advocacy focused is still policy focused and so I consult with organizations around the country doing that work and being away for a month would detract from that part of my business which I will honestly probably always keep as a vertical under the politics and fashion brand I like that part of my brand that is mission driven I mean we're called politics and fashion over here for a reason uh, and so you get kind of sprinkles of that like with my quiet luxury video and others if you really listen that a lot of my white toenail season kind of the quips and the one-liners are really rooted in a reproductive justice praxis um, and so you get sprinkles of it but realistically that work is done offline for the most part uh, and I don't want to again completely lose that in my portfolio on top of that I think that if I am really focused on attending fashion weeks in Europe, for me, I better also be doggedly pursuing European brands, right? I better be seeing some sort of like engagement with brands outside of the ones that I currently have relationships with. I would need to be working with a PR agency, for example, just to really elevate my profile in the fashion space in particular. And that's just not one of my goals right now. Um, it may be in the future, but it currently is not. And so what I thought about is what I probably will do is attend a fashion week, but have it be part of a longer vacation plan to a particular country. Um, and so let's see, I think kind of first up for me probably would be a trip to Milan and if it overlaps with fashion week all the better and so that is my current thinking things may evolve I mean 
business goals change, they shift, strategies shift as they should. Um, again, for me, this is about a business, it's about a growth mindset, and it's about being strategic about how I spend money to invest in my business and what long-term opportunities might look like that are aligned with my goals. I know it looks like many of us are just playing on the internet, but I happen to think that content creators, especially the people who I know personally, me, myself personally, who do this full time, are some of the most brilliant minds in business on the planet, especially if you are doing this and you are part of a marginalized identity. Understand that these opportunities are not coming easy. And so when you see Janae, when you see Monroe, when you see other people, again, that are doing this full time, the Angelas, the, the Ashleys, the Halicias, these people are making it happen like behind the scenes it is a whole machine of strategy and thought processes and uh pitching and outreach and networking and it's no sleep and another bus and another club and another, like it's all that they gaga was talking about and our goal and our job is to make it look easy right so if you're doing that well you know, you're giving a little Tanika B black girl lifestyle luxury. If you're doing it well, you know, that is what it comes across because that is a pillar of the brand. But know that Tanika is a brilliant business mind. And I just want to make sure that I give everybody their flowers and to make sure that you all understand that it's not just about pretty clothes. Although, you know, that's the thing, so. All right, I got my nails done yesterday. I got red. Um, I just wanted something classic. I don't know why I was drawn to red. Red always, it feels rich to me. It's a, it feels very rich. And so because I am wearing outfits that are more on the neutral side, I thought red would be nice. I have acrylic overlays. It started off as a tip and now these are my nails. So it's just an acrylic overlay. And then I get gel polish on top of that. My natural nails are very thin, so thin and weak until even um, gel polish, like it, it just, it doesn't last, it chips, my nails break, all the things. And so I got a tip probably about two months ago and I've just been riding it out. We'll see how long it lasts. White on the toes, of course. Yesterday you saw me get my hair cut as well. So haircut, nails did, feet did, everything did. Camera got picked up this morning. We're in a good space. We just need to pack. And also I have a box from Express that is coming that should be here in about an hour or so. So that will be our last try on, stick with me. But before I go to get some of this admin work done, let me share with you what Pixie sent me because I love them and I am on their PR list. First of all, their packaging is always so thoughtful. And when I opened this, y'all, I was shook. This was just folded inside. Because this says, Tashira is getting ready to glow. And I said, the last thing y'all really need from me is for me to be on a plane like this right here. Knocked out, okay? The level of bougie, I feel it in my soul. It's just ascending. It's going to the upper room. It's a higher echelon of just extra and bougie that this is given. This is the accoutrement of, of, a, of a bougie lifestyle. This is what Mackenzie's mom came here for. So thank you, Pixie. I, I didn't know I needed it, but I needed it. And the fact it has my name on it, girl, don't play with me. Don't do it. All right, and then it's the Dreamy Mist Jasmine and Lavender Overnight Mist. One thing about me, y'all, is I love jasmine and I love lavender. This really is about like a self-care box. And so you just spray a little bit of that before you get in the bed. And that smell just cascades over your body. It's nice and dewy. Woo, girl. Somebody you know needs this. This will be a perfect gift, actually. And Pixie's prices are very affordable. And then what I love, too, is the eye patches. I've had probably about two or three of these and I've used them all. They all have had like a little bit of a different uh, use in mind, but these specifically are for depuffing. They have vitamin A in them and they're what they call hydrogel. And what I love, because they're thoughtful, is that they come with a little spoon. And then that is what it looks like. 
I used these this morning as I was brushing my teeth. So love these. It's a great little like self-care moment at night and first thing in the morning. Again, the smell of the dreamy mist is amazing, but I actually like all of Pixie's like mist or toners. We already know about the glow tonic. That's one that has glycolic acid that I've used before. And currently, I also am using one that is hyaluronic acid based. So it's very hydrating and refreshing. So I will link some of my favorite Pixie products down below. They are sold at Target. And again, I find that they have great quality ingredients that will not break the bank. And that's it for now. I will see y'all in just a minute. Hey, y'all. So the express package came and it's a little bittersweet because I am obsessed with this denim skirt and I think showing a maxi skirt that is affordable would be great, but it is way, way too big in the waist. I think I forgot that I got it in a size 10. Um, knowing that if I went up, it was going to definitely fit in the hips, which it does, but it's way too big in the waist. I also think that what I envisioned it with may not work because I really would want to put my arms in this jacket. And based upon the weather, New York is gonna go through a heat wave this weekend. Nevertheless, this is still a look that I'm gonna link down below because I think it's fire. And if I don't wear it for fashion week, it will get wear at some point. Let me back up. Okay, so first up is this uh, faux leather moto jacket. I wanted one that was more oversized. My Bottega one is more true to size and it also has gold hardware. This one has black hardware. I forget the brand, but it is from Nordstrom. It was under $100, so I'll definitely link it. I put back on that YSL bra. Um, I really don't know what I would actually do here, to be honest because it would take me either not wearing it with the white suit or putting on a different top underneath here. And to keep it a stack with y'all, I think I like it better here. I think it goes better as an all black look versus the black under the white, because that could be any tank top. On top of the fact that the blazer is so oversized, you barely see the bra. But anyway, it doesn't matter because we're here now and we cannot wear this together. I just don't have time to get it uh, taken in. Um, and then we have the skirt by Express. Y'all tell me, have you found any maxi denim skirts that are stretchable? This is literally the first one that I had found and it took me trying maybe two others, um, definitely trying two others. And so this, as you can see, actually has stretch. I think it also comes in blue jean. It feels great on the skin. Again, I got it in a size 10. The price says $78, but y'all know Express is always having sales, so I know I didn't pay that for it. Um, it has a slit in the front, and then the back is just a plain, like, straight skirt. Um, but it does come down to my ankles, and the hem is unfinished, which I like as well. Part of me wants to shoot this and just take a pen and pin it in the back, just a little stylus hat. <laughs> But again, it would take me having to figure out a different piece under the Zara suit. And ain't nobody got time for that. So everything happens for a reason. I will drop this off at my cleaners, which is where my tailor is. And we'll just make some fall looks out of it. I have one more look that I am making with this Zara bustier, which actually... Could I not? And save the bra for the suit? Girl. I just wish it was earlier in the day because my tailor's fast, but she's not that fast. But that could have been actually a nice little vibe. But again, we <laughs> will save uh, the skirt for another day, another time. Um, I may even bring it with me again, just to kind of do that stylist hack if I need to. Um, and if there is a Zara that I happen upon in New York and I find it in a size eight, 
I will probably just go that route. I went up to a 10 because I didn't know how much stretch it truly had. And an eight probably would fit well, but who knows? Nevertheless, y'all, my last look again features that silver top and a couple other pieces. I'm gonna say that because I want you to for sure tune in to the blog. We have so much just kikiing to do, gallivanting around town to do, attending shows to do, all the things, friend. And I am going to get up out of here so that I can start packing. I can put all of my pieces together. One thing I did want to show you, I have extras of these, which are just like cloth garment bags that I got from Amazon. I use these to put pieces in that I'm no longer wearing or I'm not wearing for that season. Um, and I'm going to put each outfit in there and probably put a label because there is a clear kind of patch in the front uh, for what day and what occasion I choose to wear it just to be even more organized. But nevertheless, in order for me to actually get this blog up today, I have got to stop here. Make sure you tune in to uh, the New York Fashion Week vlog. That's where I'm going to really get into my makeup, my fragrances, any other accessories that I may have missed. And again, you will just see me out and about town. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.